My name is Charles Montgomery. I retired from the military 33 years ago. I retired as the Chief Petty Officer in the Navy and I was a yeoman. I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, and San Diego is presently my home now. I mean, we played games, we played football, we played baseball. Everything was in the streets. Uh, we played hide and go seek. We had skates. Uh, we, the technology wasn't there. I mean, we had record players, uh, radio, M and F. The TV only had three channels, ABC, CBS, and NBC. Uh, you might have one UHF channel. You didn't have color. You had black and white TV. You get up in the morning, you go to school, You've got all these classes you go to, you have all these people you're dealing with every day. And, and you got proms and you got dances. We had what we call sock hops. We used to have them every Friday. But those were the, are the best, best years of your life. And then all of a sudden, you graduate. And now life says, okay, Let's get started. I was a 18 year old, graduated from high school. I was in New Orleans, Louisiana, doing a time where segregation was rampant and there was no jobs. So joining the Navy was my out. 22 years later, it was, it was a great choice. The military was my out. My time in the Navy was a, a big learning curve. Because when we come out of the high school, as an 18-year-old, you think you know it all. And you realize you don't know anything. And everybody knows that, that point when you get to that, it's time. I think when you retire, you have to have something to do. And coming to Midway was that something to do for me. Uh, one of the best parts about being a safety, we walk all over the ship and we talk to people and we do just whatever. I mean, it. you make the job your own. I walk around and I ask people where they're from and start a conversation because I met a lady on here just out of pure coincidence that I was stationed with her brother back in Texas. And he was a Marine who got killed while flying with the Blue Angels. And when we were talking, she said, oh, my brother was in the Marines. And I, oh, that's nice. I'm in the Navy. And then she said, my brother was stationed in a little town called Beeville. Oh, I was stationed in Beeville. Well, when were you there? Well, I was there in 1963. Well, my brother was there in 1963. And one question led to another, and then we found... Then I asked the big question, well, what was his name? And then she said, Bob Matheson. And my heart dropped. Excuse me. Uh, it's amazing how... <laughs> Something affects you 50. Since 1963, he got killed in 1965 when he was trying out for the Blue Angels. But it was amazing that that day I met her and talked with her. And he was one of these guys who was one of the good guys. And I would have done anything for him. I've never thought about 
quitting per se. Uh, and I think it's just like anything else that I've done before. I'll know when the time is. And I think as I get older, uh, you get a little more aches and pains and you don't, you don't walk as fast anymore and you don't go as far anymore and the knees hurt. Do I really want to walk those passageways and go up and down these ladders? And then at some point in time, you, rather than signing up for two days, you only sign up for one. And then one day you don't sign up for a week. And you start slowing down. So, And that's when you know, well, you know, one thing is time to back off. So, But for me, that, that time hasn't come yet. So I'm, I'm still, still pushing. I try not to relive my past, but I look forward to my future. And things that I can't change, I don't even worry about. I don't, I handle today. And yesterday is gone, tomorrow is near yet. So let's do the now.